Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be creating this dark, sultry makeup look. And also I'm going to be talking to you about some amazing things, um, very fun topics. Uh, just a few things that have been going through my mind lately. I wasn't able to cover everything I wanted to say. In fact, I missed out on the main thing, <laughs> but it's okay. I feel like this video is long enough and I talk about uh, just some things that I'm going through and I wanted to update you on it. So yeah, without further ado, let's quickly jump into the video. I'm gonna jump into skincare. I'm gonna take the Color Bar Water Bomb Magic Water Creme and I'm gonna use that on my face today. Just gonna hydrate it really well because I don't have anything on my skin right now and you know the importance of hydration, baby. Now that we're nicely moisturized, we're definitely gonna go in with more moisturization. I'm taking the Farsali Liquid Glass. I'm just gonna use that all over my face. Wow, my face has become like kind of sensitive. Okay, I really wanted to talk to you and fill you in on a few things that have been going on in my mind. So I'm gonna give you some post-COVID um, update because I wanna keep doing that because a lot of you are still battling this horrific virus. So it's been good for me so far. I feel like I've got my energy back, no doubt, okay? It is back and I feel good every morning waking up. It's no longer the heavy-headed that I used to feel post-COVID. So for the first few weeks after you heal, you'll definitely feel some weakness and very low energy for quite some time and that's very normal i was really beating myself up into being like why am i still feeling weak i mean i'm covid's done i'm supposed to feel like energetic no no your body's fought a very very tough virus and it's gonna take a while for all your cell to regenerate and just like get the energy back so um that was something that i noticed in time so I feel fine energy wise, however my skin is still um, not the best right now, it's still like very bumpy in certain places. On certain days I would flare up on my cheeks and get like all sorts of tiny bumps. That's also a post covid after effect. Um, so that's fine as well. I'm not doing too much for skincare. I'm just like heavily moisturizing at all times like I always do. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this Color Bar Spotlight Illuminating Lotion um, on my face. This can be a very good dupe for the Max Stroke Cream, okay? It comes really close. They're both illuminating. I miss having nails, by the way. I miss it terribly. Boy hands. <laughs> Okay, coming back to my sense of taste and smell, it's back like 30 to 40 percent. It's very slow, you guys. It's not as terrible as it was earlier, so I can definitely taste a little bit. So in the mornings, it's the worst, okay? Like I cannot smell anything and taste anything in the morning. So when I have my breakfast and stuff, it's very mild. Um, and then through the day, it gets better and then I can taste a little bit more, you know, but it's still very difficult for me to eat meals. For foundation, I'm taking two of these. One is the Maybelline Matte & Poreless um, Fit Me Foundation, and then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y315. I'm gonna mix the two. I miss mixing my products. <laughs> I am hoping that my sense of smell and taste will come back eventually. I'm not doing anything for it. I tried all different remedies over time and I feel like I just have to wait it out. It's one of those things where you just have to be patient with your body. So this is the Portly Akhil's Boa scent. So it has clove, ajwain and all sorts of things inside it. And over here I drop in the eucalyptus clove oil and I keep smelling it to just like clear out my nasal path, um, hoping that it would come back. This was one of the solutions they said. So I kept doing, I keep doing that for like five to 10 minutes every day, hoping something would happen. So that's where I'm at with my COVID update. I'm beginning workout really soon tomorrow. I need to get back on the bandwagon. I'm feeling very loose everywhere. I've lost a lot of muscle mass and I lost two kgs, which is not a lot, but I need to gain that and my muscle back. All right, so for concealer, I'm gonna use again two concealers. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Honey. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, which is this one right here, to brighten further. In terms of content, I'm a bit um, lost these days because I'll tell you why. Like, I'm just not a fan of 
anything that's trending like i might like something like one video in a hundred i will enjoy the trend but i'm i'm really not a fan of seeing the same thing like thousand times and i feel like there have been so many youtube trends that have been going on like hundred layers of highlighter remember at one point hundred layers of everything and i just could not get on that because i just don't feel like that's something i relate to and that's not my content vibe so i've never done like a challenge video as such like entertainment wise i'm more so educational um when it comes to makeup and mostly sharing my story uh, like i'm doing right now that's more so how my content goes and i feel the most like comfortable and also this works for my channel um i feel like challenges it's odd for me okay so that is why i don't bring out those videos so that's why i am kind of in the middle of like what can i put out there because makeup no one's buying makeup right now a lot right definitely makeup junkies like me love to watch tutorials but no one's really like purchasing a lot of makeup as such um so again makeup videos become a wee bit monotonous sometimes but i love it like i will still continue doing makeup for as long as i can on my channel because that's what my channel is about right it's beauty content so i know you guys love watching my vlogs okay the akika home series one and i'm sorry i'm not able to continue the series for a while because my vlogging camera broke okay i've been using it for so long and it's the best camera it's the canon uh, g7x mark 2 um and it is really really great uh that camera is fantastic for vlogging if you guys are looking for a vlogging camera but unfortunately the viewfinder you know that flap that comes out from the camera and you can see yourself on that screen that kind of broke they were not able to fix it at the canon center because they didn't have certain screws and parts so it kind of is now working it's functional but the viewfinder is broken it's like stuck to the other side so you can't really see yourself you have to like turn the camera to see what you're filming and i can't do that so i gave it to jake he's like you know what i'll use the camera so i gave it to him and now it's with him it's his camera now and i'm i don't have a vlogging camera and i intend to buy it for sure i also know what i want i'm confused between two cameras again the G7X i don't mind repeating purchase because that's such a great camera and then there's a Sony one that i want i know i can't just buy such a big electronic device online i feel really like weird about that so i want to go to the store check the features out see if it's good buy some attachments to it the mic so i think that's why i'm not able to vlog and i know you guys will say vlog with your phone we don't mind but once you get the taste of hd cameras and quality you can't go back to your phone it's just something that luckily i've been known for my good quality videos and i want to stick to that and yeah that is why otherwise i would definitely give you guys more vlog content you know i'm getting so dry for some reason like my skin dude i'm going to take the smashbox um primer water okay i'm going to go ahead and set my concealer using the maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade light 15 all right um setting a little bit of my face as well not touching this side cuz i want to try using cream contour today so i wanted to tell you how i'm spending my lockdown since i'm not able to vlog i have suddenly um started reading a lot i love reading but you know there are phases where you just stop and no matter what you do you cannot get back to reading cuz it's so boring you rather do something else or binge watch a show but then akhil also loves reading he purchases so many books it's ridiculous like you know he has a library for all of you watch the um house tour and he just keeps ordering books thousands worth thousands of rupees um and i feel it's a great investment because books are everything so he used to like rather work listen to music instead of reading and then suddenly he got on this reading journey and then i used to see him reading and i used to just either do something else and i used to be walking around and i'm like i feel guilty for not reading like he's reading and every day he's growing and what am i doing so i feel like i was sort of inspired by him luckily to catch on to my reading If he didn't begin reading I don't think I would start reading myself so your partner hugely inspires you to do good things <laughs> so yeah um he started reading certain books and giving it to me so he would finish it and he'd be like okay now you read this it's really cool okay so I love reading fiction books okay I am very much into like um eroticas and stories and just like reading characters and getting es escaped into the world i feel like fiction is a beautiful way to escape your reality and anything you're facing right now is going to just take you to like a fairy land and that's what i love fiction and thriller books and crime i am i'm absolute fans of those but once akhil got me onto the non fiction side dude it's very hard to go back to fiction i'm just like damn it these books are making me so happy because i learn so much 
like more than I've ever learned reading fiction books. Fiction books are just like for escape. I don't think they can be very valuable to you unless it's a great fictional book. So Akhil got me onto the non-fiction side and he's like, you know, why don't you give it a shot? So I was like, why not? Let me just try it. Since I'm sitting and doing nothing, let me just read this book. So the first book I read is All You Need Is Josh, okay? It's a book about... Um, stories of a lot of amazing inspiring people and it just motivates you to do better you know all of these people in the book are either broken they come from broken families they're either abused um they are poor and how they came out of their um you know difficult life and their struggle and they made something out of themselves and all of them in the book are so inspiring and uh, it just like motivates you to be somebody you know and you need this in the lockdown because this is when we need to read such books then Akhil introduced me to one of his favorite authors called Patrick Lencioni I think that's how it's called um, and it is like a fable so it's a fiction in a fiction format you sort of understand all the business jargons so it's not like a boring business book it's like he introduces characters in the books and he creates it in a story format and by the end of it you learn so much so it's very important to choose the right book you know if you start with the wrong book you will not learn like reading at all you just base your judgment on that one book i just wish they had a spoolie on the other end because i have to keep grabbing my spoolie which is just like one minus point this is for all my book lovers out there so if you are not a book reader uh, please don't skip this part because i feel like you re really need to maybe try and cultivate the habit of reading like it's very difficult to begin your first book but choose the right book you know so the books i read is all you need is josh the, um, the five dysfunctions of a team by patrick lencioni then i read the five temptations of a ceo again by the same author i am currently reading how to avoid a climate disaster by bill gates uh, that is a book that has taken me a lot of time actually it's taken me a week to finish which is a long time for me but there's so much to read and learn you know it's not one of those books where you can skim through you have to genuinely understand what bill gates is trying to say and it's such a fabulous book 100% recommend all these books for you to read because um, I feel like it's gonna be so valuable to you in your life. I just, I've learned so much over the past few, one week in fact by just reading these books that I feel like uh, no university or college has ever taught me such lessons. So books are your best friend at this point during the lockdown. It can teach you such important valuable lessons. So pick up a great book my girls and boys because it's gonna genuinely help you. Um, it's one of the best habits you can ever cultivate. So yes, I definitely am spending my time doing better things. Earlier, I used to binge watch shows and stuff and I realized how unproductive that was. So the best thing to start your reading routine is to have a routine. If you pick a time slot in your day, be like, okay, I'm going to read from four to five, no matter what. You cannot touch your phone. You cannot listen to music. You cannot sit next to a TV. You have to pick up a book. So then it becomes like a habit. You know, the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And then you go you're going to love reading. So I'm very glad that I'm using my time more productively. It's very important that you do so. So I'm taking the ColourPop Wine and Only palette. I pick up this one right here and I'm going to begin my eyeshadow process. And I'm just going to start placing it. That's a vibe. I like this color so much. I'm going to make like a monochromatic look and match my lip as well to this sort of color. Okay, while I'm doing my eyes, let me tell you about <laughs> my like where my mind is at okay at the moment and i really want you to take this okay i'll just talk about it recently there are so many people getting pregnant <laughs> and i say that in the nicest way don't catch my like tone i'll tell you why i'm saying it the way i'm saying it okay um there's a, there are a lot of youtubers that i've been following who are obviously my age right and they're getting either they've had their first kid and they're on to their second one right now um and i just keep looking at their updates and their baby pictures and all and can i just tell you i have severe baby fever like it is ridiculous how much i i'm obsessed with looking at baby vlogs it's crazy even my best friend when i spoke to her i was like dude what on earth is happening to me and i'm 28 okay and She's like, dude, you have no idea. I have major baby fever as well. And she's like my age, 27. And I'm just like, oh my God. So both of us are in this. Matlab, it's not just me. And she wants to be a mother. So, you know, I mean, that's all great for her that she has baby fever. But I'm just like, um, what do I do? And now I know a lot of you have heard me say that, you know, we 
genuinely don't want a baby etc etc and there's a lot of controversy behind that and i just wanted to normalize the idea of women or like couples not wanting to have a baby and that's why i keep talking about it because i feel like it's important you know uh, people are so used to the getting married have a baby you know if you've seen me or know me you know that i um absolutely despise when people just assume you want to have a baby and they're like okay when you're having a baby you know without them knowing the complications that woman is going through maybe she's had a miscarriage maybe she cannot have babies like you don't know what they're going through so the first question when you meet a married woman is not when you having kids like that's not the question you should um ask because it can trigger a lot of bad things for that person we don't know what their story is right whenever you meet someone and you want to ask about a baby you can be like what is your opinion on having babies you know that's the question you can ask very politely and they might say that i don't want to talk about it because they have that option then because that's their opinion if you suddenly ask them okay when do you plan on having a baby like how many do you want it puts them in a very difficult position and they feel guilty that their body can't make a baby be you know so there's tons of issues and there's tons of reasons why you shouldn't directly ask a couple or a woman when is she having a baby for a while people were very confused about what this meant but a lot of you also appreciated what i was trying to say it's not like i don't like babies okay it's just that akhil and i at this point after having read all these climate disaster books and you know where the world is heading because we read and we see a lot of these things it's basically the more information you get and the more knowledgeable you get and grow it's very difficult <laughs> to take such decisions you know because you calculate everything in your mind and see what the right thing is to do for you and your family so that's where we're at now we know so much that we're like is this the right thing to do bringing a kid into this world the world is only heading for doomsday like it is heading in such a horrible direction you guys like sorry just diverting for one second like i'm reading the book right now how to avoid a climate disaster and see in certain documentaries it is horrific where the world is heading okay we're so ignorant and oblivious that we just we just think this is a one off pandemic and it's going to get over the stuff that is predicted in that book and the way they're saying you have no idea this is going to be normal in the future for your generation like when you hit 2030 2050 in fact people dying in the millions is going to be normal it's going to be just another day because there's going to be so many more diseases coming up so many more climate disasters that are going to wipe away people natural calamities that are going to just wipe away people and it's just going to be a regular morning for you i'm to going to die right after some time we are going to die when we grow old then i'm just like leaving my kid to deal with the world's disasters like that's crazy to me you know so being the saying it in the most like i'm coming from love okay please don't take me as attacking anybody it's just where we are coming from um so we always we talk about this a lot and we're like how how do we take that decision like you know you know when people just want to be parents and i'm just like i don't know we were never really there and also the added pain that comes in giving birth to a baby i can't even take a blood test man like what am i going to push a baby out of my system like i have very low, low tolerance for pain and doctors and hospitals and like needles and like medicines and like that firstly is my number one reason for being terrified of having babies is the pain and the medication and the injection and like oh it's giving me like anxiety when i even talk about it so that is one of the reasons and then also like i don't know i feel like we're not like there yet or ready uh, you know many many personal reasons why but lately I've just been having like such bad cuz everybody around me is having babies. Can you please <laughs> I'm picking up this shade right here. It's a darker shade and I'm just going to enhance the outer corner. Okay, I'm going to make it even more darker but I want to add a lid shade before that. Picking up this middle shade. Ooh. But I think I'm going to add like a champagne color on top because um I want a little bit of a contrast. I'm taking the color pop. This is from the Cream Soda Press Powder Palette and I'm look at how cute this quad is by the way. Hello. That's sweet. I'm going to pick up these two shadows right here. Okay, I'm going to mix the two and I'm going to try and just like neutralize the color a little bit because it's too red. Okay, so like everyone's having babies around me and I know people a lot of people think just cuz I I'm not ready or I don't want to have babies. Everyone's like, "Oh, she hate babies." I love 
love and especially now when i see a baby i'm just like i'm going to take you away <laughs> like a creep okay so keep your babies away because i'm mean just like you know so i'm so uh, in love with our kids brother's baby uh, his cousin brother just had a baby last year tarani and i am like beyond obsessed with her i whenever i meet her i'm just like never leaving her side i don't care about anyone i'm just like leave me and tarani alone you know so that's how crazy i am and i'm so in love with small babies and um i will always be but on the other hand i also have like massive pet fever like i don't know what's happening to my hormones but like you know i think i'm in that age i'm like 28 <laughs> and like a woman naturally like gets these maternal instincts right at least i do you know cuz earlier like i didn't feel this kind of baby fever but um yeah that's what's happening so i don't know i'm telling my friends okay when are you all having kids because can i just please spoil them i'm picking up this darker shade right here you don't know where the world is headed and it's so terrifying yeah imagine your small babies are just like battling the world's diseases and pandemics and it's so lonely and you're not even there to save them that's what is like so scary about today's world you know uh coming to this knowledge that i'm receiving reading books and <laughs> watching documentaries um i said yeah you know reading more and having more knowledge can really make it difficult to take these decisions but i also feel like it helps you to take better decisions it's a good thing um it's also a curse uh, just knowing a lot about everything is also a curse i have been wanting a doggy so bad like dog or cat like first i had major cat fever cuz i feel like i'm i'm more of a cat mom for some reason I'm taking the Huda Beauty tan tour. I'm just going to uh, contour. We've almost been like 99% to getting a cat, remember? Um last the last month and didn't end up happening. I guess it was not written. Also the thing is that Akhil and I have moved out, right? So it's just the both of us now. So we want to like travel a lot. The thing is that, you know, both of us never really got a chance to travel by ourselves. Like a honeymoon basically we never got a honeymoon apart from going to maldives for 3 days uh which i felt like was also really rushed i like we want to just like pick our destination spend like months over there we never got that time to ourselves you know and we knew that the minute we got married we would travel a lot okay a lot and that never happened you know instantly the lockdown took place after i got married in court and so it's sort of like restricted all our future plans like for all of us right so i feel like now if i get another like responsibility how will i like it's so selfish again it's just like okay you're getting a pet and then you're leaving it and going all around the world that is so mean yeah like and i wouldn't be able to leave my baby you know if i get a doggy or a cat like it's so difficult to leave them you know so i was pushing this on purpose because we're like you know soon after the lockdown soon after the lockdown so ye khatam hi nahi ho raha yaar we like soon after the lockdown we'll just like pack our bags travel we've not experienced that part of our marriage like we've been traveling for over 10 years together but it's different when you're like married you know i just feel like i have so much more to experience with him and suddenly if i'm going to get this pet from nowhere it's it's a huge responsibility and i know that he's had a pet for 16 years like akhil has always had a pet since he was a kid so it was really painful for his mother towards the end of the journey and you know when it got sick and all it gets really difficult you know i know that once we get a pet like we're all in like i'm going to commit and take care of that like nobody's business because i have major mom instincts i have major maternal instincts with my friends i take care of them like my babies literally my team i just like take care of them like my babies i give them anything they want i talk to them i'm available to them i love them so much like i'm just so ready to like hug and like invite people into my life like that's how much of a mom i am clearly all know look at the advice i'm giving so i have that mom instinct pehle se so i'm just like how do i leave my pet baby now and go to europe and chill <laughs> I know I can travel with the baby uh, baby I'm saying you dekh yaar you know I know I can travel with a pet and all of that I can get that arranged and Akhil is so down to doing that for me he's been super supportive even though he made it very clear that he doesn't ever want a pet again he was like he convinced himself to come on board you know that's how much he loves my husband I'm taking this Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape contour palette in medium dark from MAC and I'm just going to go over the contour a little bit I'm picking up 
um, this shade right here. This is a super nice light bronze shade. I'm just gonna add a touch of it. I haven't even celebrated my marriage, you know. It's one of those things where I, everyone has gotten married. Uh, all of my girlfriends got their day. And it's just like I never got to celebrate or get married to Akhil in front of my friends and family till today. And that makes me so sad. Like that breaks my heart. And I was just like, maybe it's not our time. Maybe someday we'll be able to celebrate amazingly well. Just the reasons are getting stronger as to why we shouldn't have a pet. I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm just gonna put that all over. It's a really great mascara. Okay, another quick update. Like last year in May, exactly one year before I decided to turn vegetarian, um, stop eating meat basically. Uh, and I used to eat a lot of chicken. I don't eat beef and pork and all. I used to eat a little bit of mutton, but a lot more chicken. I was a chicken lover. I love chicken so much to the point where if there was one food item you could eat for the rest of your life, my answer was chicken burger. Because <laughs> I am a big fan of chicken burger, used to be. I turned vegetarian and a lot of you know that. Um, I struggle to transition because I've eaten chicken for literally 27 years of my life. So to get out, it's just like smoking, right? When you're addicted to something, your body will get withdrawals. It's very difficult to let go of something that you've tasted and tried and your body's so used to eating that for 27 years. It's very difficult to let go. So last year in 2020, I came across this page called Earthling ED. Okay, I'm gonna put the tag right here in case you wanna check him out. Um, um, he's vegan. It's a vegan page, but I'm not vegan. I want to clarify that. I am a vegetarian. So he poses a question, just because your taste buds want chicken, does it justify the murder of an animal? And that question it completely made me think and blew my mind. And I'm like, no, you know, and I have a very high moral compass. So for me, until I saw that video and saw that question, I was like, what am I doing? Okay, I'm taking the K-Beauty blush in the shade Deep Plum. I told you I'm gonna match it to my eye. Super monochromatic. Yeah, so it just really made me think, you know, just because I want to satisfy my taste buds or I feel like eating chicken, it does not make a chicken's life less valuable. Like, you know, I always ask, like, what is the difference between, like, a puppy's life and a chicken's life? Um, a puppy does not deserve to die because it's cute and cuddly and a chicken deserves to die because, what, it's like meat? <laughs> you know, they also have lives. They have emotions. They have babies. They want to live full lives. They want to just live till the last breath but um, we're so brutal like humans completely sometimes shock me okay so coming back to that page that page really like triggered something in me and made me want to research and read more there you go so i did more research i read i read more about it and i sort of developed this uh just this want and this very strong reason for giving up meat uh, because i just found my reason okay and it, and it was like i do not want to be a part of anything that kills animals or you know uh, makes them suffer and torture and be in the slaughterhouse just because i want a taste of chicken i can sacrifice that i don't need meat to survive we all just want meat. It's just a bad habit we have since kid. Um, and also he says that a lot of people say that, you know, it's supposed to be like that. That's how the life cycle works. How will we filter out the animals? <laughs> I think animals should eat humans and then we can talk about it. I feel like people are so, they come up with such crazy answers sometimes. Like how does a lion eat? He requires being a carnivorous to survive. He requires to eat meat to survive. That's how it is. We don't require to eat meat to survive. We can happily survive eating vegetables, fresh food and things like that. And we'll be happy and alive and very, very strong. <laughs> so you don't need to kill an animal and eat their flesh to be strong. Really like need versus want, you know, we just want meat, we don't need it. Um, anyway, this whole controversy, this conversation can go on for hours and I know people are gonna leave like weird comments like you're killing plants also and yes, yes, that can be a whole conversation by itself. And I just like fell for it and so I was having so many withdrawal symptoms last year, like I was craving chicken, I was like a chicken addict. How they get like, they shake and they sweat. I was like, I need chicken, I need chicken, mom, I need chicken. You know, it came to that point and I'm like, wow, my dependency on chicken is so high. And then I ate chicken, but then again, I decided to try. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna try again. And I did, and I just slowly, slowly let go slowly i did it in my own time nobody forced me 
and I was able to do it. And then I realized that I was not no longer getting the craving to eat meat because I found my reason to quit meat. So I feel like if anyone's trying to uh, quit meat and you cannot do it for some reason, try to find your your reason for quitting meat uh, you know because everybody has different reasons some do it for climate change some do it because they don't want animals to die so everybody has their reason just pick a reason and feel very strongly about it that's when you will be able to quit meat and i found my reason up until um last year like beginning of this year i was a pescatarian so i was eating shrimp and fish very little of it but i was definitely eating it and um, this year like just last week in fact i watched a documentary called sea spiracy um you can definitely check it out if you want and it just made me feel so much for fish and sea animals out there that i'm just like i'm quitting fish and prawns too uh but yeah i have not eaten a single piece of meat for a while and i'm very proud of myself considering the amount of chicken addict that i was Okay, for highlight, I'm going to take the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. So definitely no judgment on people who eat meat. I feel like everybody has their own journey and own path and, you know, they may or may not quit meat. That's fine. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. The more you force people or your family members to turn you know, uh, vegetarian, the more they will resent you and be like, why are you telling me what to do, you know? So I used to do that to my brothers and I felt like the more I kept encouraging them, uh, I did it in the wrong way and they kept pushing me away and eating more meat. Meat. you know that's just how humans are so then I realized you know what just everyone has their own journey everyone sometimes maybe they'll come across something that'll change their mind there's nothing you can do or force anyone you know that's the last thing you want to do you know and you should always come from a place of love and just know that people will find their reason to quit meat at some point maybe maybe not you know but you have to be at peace with yourself when you go to bed that's the only thing you know so that's my decision and i absolutely love animals and i want to one day hopefully own a farm and have goats and cows and all sorts of animals running around that's my like long term buddhi wala dream when i'm old and same as akhil he feels the same um okay for lip liner i'm taking the estee lauder double wear in 14 wine i'm taking the huda beauty power bullet lipstick in the shade ladies night Can I just say that Huda Beauty's Power Bullet lipsticks is literally at the top for me like in bullet form lipsticks one is the MAC uh, regular lipsticks that you get but this is like number one for me as well uh, this is one of the best bullet matte lipsticks i've ever come, come across this range and i am so obsessed that i only only use these lipsticks nowadays like it's ridiculous how amazing they are All right guys this is the final result i hope you enjoyed watching this video and it puts me in a very vulnerable spot having to discuss what is in my mind especially topics like babies and stuff which is so controversial but um i feel very comfortable sharing this with you because you guys are my family and you guys understand where i'm coming from so let's keep the comment section clean and just have like healthy discussions um in the comment section down below i would love to hear your thoughts on the topics we discussed about today just be kind to everyone that's the simplest thing you can do and it's free of cost so um your kind words can literally light up someone's day okay so i love you so much and i will see you in my next video bye